Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new set of hearing aids. Now, being a pharmacist and a YouTuber, of course, health is definitely a very important thing to me. And one of the biggest things as you get older is you have trouble hearing. It's something you can't control. Now, having a solution to that is actually a great idea. And one of the nice things about hearing aids is the fact that you can go ahead and just pop one in. And from there, your hearing ability will significantly increase. Now, the problem is there's so many different kinds of hearing aids out there in the public. And if you're looking for one, it's kind of hard to figure out which is the best deal. Do you go with the more expensive one or do you go with one that's cheaper or something right in the middle? Well, this here is the Sound World Solution. Now, this here is the Bluetooth series called the CS50 Plus, uh, which essentially is a personal sound amplifier. Now, what it can do is it also has the capability to block out outside sounds, so you can go ahead and concentrate, read a book, and then on top of that, it is app enabled where you, it will be able to calibrate itself uh, for your own hearing needs. Now, together we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and seeing exactly how it all works out. So, if you guys wanted your own, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's Get started. All right, so this here is the packaging. This here is the box that you get. It says Sound World Solutions. Uh, as we kind of rotate it, this says it's the Bluetooth Series CS50 Plus L Personal Sound Amplifier. Uh, that is pretty much it. <laughs> now let's open it up. So inside here, uh, you have your little case. I'm assuming our earpiece is in here. Um, and then we have a few accessories. Looks like we have a brush as well as extra earpieces. Uh, below it, we have a USB power block. So that's nice that they include that. Uh, this here is a, looks like a standing charger. So this is something I have not seen before. So you don't have to like plug it directly into it. All you have to do is plug the cable into this unit and then you can go ahead and rest your uh, hearing aid on top of this to charge it. Now it also comes with a USB-C to USB cable uh, for charging needs. And then lastly, you do get a user manual. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can use it for audio needs. So you can listen to music with it. Uh, you can change it between different modes. Uh, there's different variations of settings, so that's great. And it's fully adjustable. Now, as we open it up, uh, you do see the hearing aid kind of just sitting about. Uh, it looks like we do get some few different attachments here. So you have one, two, and then we have our hearing aid. So it is kind of nice that they give you two sets of batteries. Um, and, and these will actually just charge on this particular uh, plate right here. So you'll see that there's a square and a circle or a rectangle and a circle and it'll kind of rest on there just like that and it magnetically attaches and it'll charge just like that. So very easy, uh, very simple to do. Um, and then the USB-C will plug into the back and then the USB-B will plug into this power block. Now, like I said, it does come with extra accessories, which includes a brush to clean it, as well as additional add-on ear pieces. Um, and the nice thing about this is it kind of goes behind the ear uh, and not essentially kind of holding onto the ear and inside the frame itself. Now you can go ahead and set up to three different custom presets. So uh, preset one is a default, which is a boost of frequency. Preset two is more boost in the high mid frequency. And the preset three is more boost in the mid and low frequency uh, based on your personal selection. Um, what we do is we can attach the battery like this. It'll magnetically attach. You'll see a green LED indicator here. So we just went ahead and connected it. Uh, there's two buttons. You have a button here on the front and then a button here on the bottom. Now, when you press the button here on the front, it'll increase the volume. And you'll hear the word volume up, volume up until it hits the maximum audio. And then if we hold the volume up button, it'll go down. So by holding the button, it'll go down. By tapping the button, it'll go up. Now, if you click the bottom button here, this will go between the different modes. So now we're in entertainment mode, everyday mode, restaurant mode, and back to entertainment mode. So pretty simple stuff. And then you just put it in your ear like this, and this will hang over the ear, just like that. See, now I can actually hear better, which is interesting to see. Now, uh, if I open up the app, uh, so I downloaded the app next, it's called CS Customizer. We're connecting it via Bluetooth. And since this is the left ear, we're gonna connect to the CS50 and there we are. So we will search for it and do, 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 connect it, continue. And we can click determine your preferences or select a preference. So if I determine, 
uh, you'll hear some beeps and you can go ahead and go to this configuration. So I'm gonna hit start. Okay, I heard a tone. I heard a tone. I heard a tone. All right, so it says profile, personal profile is complete. Listening device will be updated to fit your personal profile. Okay, so that's interesting because I just went through the whole custom settings and I can't even really tell that this thing is on. I can hear myself naturally, which is great. There's a bit of an echo, but it's very, 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 very slight. Uh, and again, it has to do with amplification. Now, if I like snap, I can actually hear a lot better. Interesting. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now I can hit the back button right here. Now we're in the restaurant mode. So this is a, essentially kind of creating an environment if there's a lot of loud noise behind us or around us, uh, it will kind of uh, deduct that noise, which is cool. Press it again, we're in entertainment mode. So now this is designed more for movies uh, as well as like playing games. And then if you press it again, it'll go to everyday mode. I can increase the volume via adjusting it. Wow, that's loud. I can increase the treble. I can use the bass, mid, etc. And um, that's back to the different, you know, personalized. So there's three different presets based on what you're looking for or the customized version of it, of course. Um, now you do have settings here. You can go and just kind of switch between the different ones based on what you're looking for. Um, and then of course, you know, you do have the equalizer where you can go adjust the left ear, right ear, or both ears based on what you're using it for. Now, the nice thing about this is that it's also Bluetooth. So I can technically, I should be able to listen to music. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of it in a nutshell. So it's great to go ahead and use in the sense that if you're looking for something uh, that is both lightweight, uh, comfortable, and works well, this is definitely a great deal for you, mainly because it can do the same thing that more of these expensive brands do at the same time. Now, uh, the only drawback I would say is if you start kind of messing around with it or like physically touching it, you'll hear like a little bit of a screech. Uh, again, that's probably because it's also got a microphone built into it. Um, but other than that, it's just very, very, very slight echo. But again, it's really not something that I would say is too distracting. Now, if you guys had any questions at all about this particular unit and how it works, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.